Chapter 5 Introduction to MS Excel 2013 Recapitulation Microsoft Office is a bundle of different softwares like MS Word, MS PowerPoint and MS Excel etc. Microsoft Word 2013 allows you to type and save documents. PowerPoint is a slideshow presentation program. Central Idea Introduction Open MS Excel Enter text in Microsoft Excel worksheets To delete cell content to copy and paste cell content, various components of MS Excel, to select a single cell or cell range, to delete cells, to cut and paste cell content, save the worksheet. Microsoft Office is a powerful set of applications. Microsoft Office includes many applications such as Word Processing, Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint Presentation and Email Communication Programs. Spreadsheet A spreadsheet is a software application where we can store data in a tabular format as an electronic document. A spreadsheet is a digital form of paper-based worksheet. A spreadsheet may also be called a worksheet. The rows and columns within the spreadsheet contain cells that are filled with data to create different type of operations. Various functions of spreadsheet program are Numerous rows and columns for data Support for mathematical formulas and calculations Data sorting and analysis Multiple worksheets and their interlinking Integration and visualization of data in the form of chart Some of the popular spreadsheet softwares are Lotus123, Microsoft Excel, OpenOffice Calc, etc. Microsoft Excel is one of the most popular spreadsheet applications. Let's learn Microsoft Excel 2013. Introduction Microsoft Excel is a software program that allows you to calculate, store, organize and manipulate the data with formulas using a spreadsheet system. Excel spreadsheets allow you to analyze the data and report on large amount of data quickly and easily. Starting Microsoft Excel to start MS Excel 2013, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click Start button. Step 2. Select All Programs. Step 3. Select Microsoft Office 2013. Step 4. Select Microsoft Excel 2013. The Microsoft Excel window will appear. Click on Blank Workbook to open Blank Document or a pre-designed template. A template is a pre-designed spreadsheet you can use to create a new workbook quickly. Templates often include custom formatting and predefined formulas 
so you can save a lot of time and effort when starting a new document. Select the document type, example, blank workbook. As you can see in the screenshot below, the default workbook is opened as book 1. Cell A1 is automatically selected when Excel opens. Components of MS Excel 2013 window Workbook The Excel window that appears on the screen is called a workbook. Worksheet It is a sheet in which you work and store your data. By default, there is only one worksheet named as Sheet 1. Spreadsheet Each workbook can contain many worksheets which are known as spreadsheet. Cell Every worksheet is made up of thousands of rectangles which are called cells. A cell is the intersection of a row and a column. Row and Columns Columns are identified by letters A, B, C while rows are identified by numbers 1, 2, 3. A worksheet has 10,48,576 rows and 16,384 columns. Cell address. Each cell has a unique address which is made by combination of the column letter and row number like A1, C5, B4, C7, etc. Cell address appears in the name box. Ribbon Ribbon is the topmost area of the application that contains menu items and toolbars. Ribbon can be shown hidden using Ctrl plus F1 key. The ribbons have various tabs on the top and each tab has its own group of commands. Microsoft Excel commands are organized onto seven main tabs. 1. Home The Home tab includes commands for formatting worksheets, cells, data and commands for inserting and deleting columns and rows. 2. Insert Insert tab is used to insert tables, illustrations, charts, links, headers and footers, symbols and more. 3. Page Layout Page Layout tab is used Change the margins, page background, page orientation and more. Formulas Formulas tab is used to browse and select formulas and functions. 5. Data Data tab is used to access external data, to sort and filter, to access data tools, to group cells together to add subtotals and more. 6. Review Review tab is used to check spellings, add comments and more. 7. View View tab is used to change your workbook view, show or hide grid lines, headings, the formula bar and the ruler, Arrange windows, freeze panes, zoom in or out and more. Creating a new blank workbook. Do the following to create a new blank workbook. Step 1. Click File. Step 2. Select New. Step 3. 
click the blank workbook. Cell pointer. The mouse pointer turns into square in the Excel worksheet. It is used to point to or select a cell, so called cell pointer. Active cell. The currently selected cell is known as active cell. Range of cells. A group of cells is known as a cell range. A range of cell may be a single cell or a group of cells. A range can be given by specifying the address of the first and last cell in the cell range. For example, A1, A7 or B4, 